Today's Dungeons & Dragons story takes place when the team was crossing a vast desert. We were chasing down a malevolent wizard, Garethor, who had managed to collect the Black Crystals and were using their power to lead to the end of the world. And so, the Council is sending out you five adventurers to retrieve the Black Crystals and save our world. It will be your responsibility to stop Garethor from using his dark power to engulf the world in darkness. How did Garethor get the crystals? I mean, when you really stop and think about it, wasn't there like a curse spell or something that prevented him from picking them up? Yeah, really weird. Totally unexpected. No idea how he did that. That's, that's magic. What can you do? <laughs> God, yeah. I don't think they figured out that we were the ones who accidentally gave him the crystals. You know, I can hear you from over. I don't interrupt you when you're talking. So it seems like we're in the clear. We set out across the desert and came upon some ruins. Ancient crumbling ruins? Yes, please. We had a choice. Do we want to explore the tower or the temple? We had a choice until our wizard threw a fireball into the tower, which blew out the lower level, causing the entire thing to collapse. Well, guess we just have the temple then. Hope there wasn't anything important in the tower. We explored the ruins, and inside we found a Thrykrine, this insect-like creature with four arms that eats humans, dwarves, halflings, and other humanoids, but has a particular taste for elves. However, this one was just by itself, hiding in the corner. Camouflage with its chameleon carapace. I let the group know. You know, I could just watch this one guy here. If he tries anything funny, I could give him the old stabby stab. But we still need to explore the rest of the ruins. Why don't we split the party? You guys can go down there in that place that looks perfectly safe. <laughs> And I could stay up here. Wow, that's a great idea. That'll really save time. Why didn't we think of that? So the rest of the group f explored farther down into the ruins while I watched the Thrykreen by myself, alone, without anyone there. I'm trying to make a point here. I don't know if that's coming across or not. Down below, the group found an elf. And while they were trying to rescue her, she transformed immediately into a Lamia, turning our ranger into her mind slave and the party started battling it out below grounds. As the noises of the fight rose up, I could hear them fighting a floor below. The GM goes, The Thrykreen you are standing watch against starts cautiously approaching you, drawing its weapons. Oh, you wanna go? Do you wanna go? As well as his nine other companions who are just hiding out, camouflaged in the room. <laughs> I, uh, I don't wanna go. I'm gonna go. As you're leaving the room, you take opportunity attacks from all of them. So that's, what, 10 ow, attacks? Ow, 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 Oh, look, plus they have multi-attacks. That's, wow, it's another 10 rounds of attacks on you. Are you freaking kidding me? I ran back to the tunnel where our elf ranger had already murdered two of our party members. You know, I've never actually used his short swords in close combat. I'm actually really dangerous like this. Oh, well, it's... Good that you're having fun and learning more about your character while you're stabbing me to death! Eventually I managed to down our ranger, who had already been wounded by the other two. The Lamia bolted and fled down the hall with just two hit points. Almost dead. In my moment of glory, I pulled out a javelin. If you think you're gonna get away, you better think again. And I threw the javelin. And it went thunk into the dirt, like five feet from me. Well, I meant to do that. Eventually, a high-level druid saved us. She picked up the bird. I picked up the other two, and we bolted out of there. Once we were a good distance away, safely out in the empty desert, I talked to Katya about our ranger's situation. So, he's under a domination spell. What can you tell me about it? Like, how long does it last? Like, a minute, ten minutes, an hour, you know? One month! Hey, did you know that if it's a higher level spell slot, it could be made up to a year or permanent? That's pretty neat. I did not know that, Katya. Thank you for informing me about a spell you currently can't help us with. 
We ended up talking to the ranger once he woke up. Release me. I must return to protect my master. So, you are currently trying to protect her. All right, just hear me out here. We are the greatest danger to her, right? So, what that means is that in order to protect her, you need to be here to keep an eye on us and be with with us. But to be with us, that means that you shouldn't be fighting us. So what that means is that you're actually on our side and totally don't want to fight. Or I could just keep you tied up. That works too. Eventually the cleric woke up. He learned to spell to fix it and to spell the mind control. We never did go back to kill that Lamia. Well, it's... I'm sure nothing bad happens. I'm pretty sure nothing bad's going to happen. 